Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grin, and today we're going to talk about how to switch our 5834-4 key fob from low security mode to high security mode. Knowing the difference between low and high security on this key fob is going to save you some trouble and let you get some more features out of this particular unit. The 5834 is part of Honeywell's 5800 line of sensors, which is wide, varied, and has been around for a long time. It's really a good key fob for what it does, if not a bit basic in its features. The Two operating modes that this key fob has is low security and high security. When the 5834 is in low security mode, it's going to send the same string of characters every time that it transmits to the system. So that means that every time you press a button, it's going to send the same command to the system. If somebody's uh, on the location with a sniffing device, what this would do is it would pick up or sniff the air to get the communication data and it found out what that was, they could potentially spoof that command and send it from their own device, tricking your system and unlocking it for them. You don't want this to happen. When you put the key fob into high security mode, it's not changing any of the communication on the key fob. It's still staying unidirectional. What's happening though is that when we put it into high security mode, we have to sync it with the alarm system. When we sync it with the system, now the system is gonna know what uh, commands the fob is going to be sending going forward. The fob itself will be transmitting different commands every time it communicates with the system and this adds extra security because when somebody sniffs the air and gets the communication data from the fob they won't be able to spoof it because they won't know what the next string of data should be that's sending from the fob to the system in this mode. So it's a way of providing high security for your key fob and the system. It adds an extra layer and it should prevent anything like that from happening as far as spoofing a regular command from the key fob. It's really easy to see what mode the key fob is currently set into. If it's in low security mode, it's gonna flash green. And if it's in high security mode, it's gonna flash red. Now the flashes on this key fob are a little on the light side so I don't know if you can see this but it is currently in low security mode when I switch it to high security mode you should see this LED turn red so let's do that now to switch the key fob into high security mode all you have to do is hold the top left bottom left and bottom right buttons at the same time until that light turns red let's give it a shot There you go. That red light tells us that we're in high security mode, and if I press a button, it's flashing red. To switch it back to low security mode, it's just as easy. I press the bottom right, or bottom left, bottom right, and the top right. And what will happen is the light will turn green, telling me that I'm back into low security mode. If you, do, if you do have any questions, though, about programming the 5834, how to use it, or the difference between high and low security mode, Feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. That's three W's. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.